Cellos. Today we're going to be working on Fire in the Bow by Brian Ballmages. And this is a really fun one. Uh, it's pretty aggressive and kind of sounds a little bit like movie soundtrack music. Um, but it um, it's going to challenge you with your finger pattern because you're using a lot of the extended, uh, the backward extension uh, finger pattern. So that is when you take the first finger, leaving all the other fingers uh, where they normally go and you stretch the first finger back. Usually you straighten the first finger when you do that and you're kind of playing on the side of the finger rather than on the tip of the finger where you normally are. Now, if you play the extended note and you're playing it for a while, it's okay to bring the rest of the hand up over it. But when you're just grabbing that note and um, also playing the other notes around it, generally you just straighten out that finger, stretch it, and then use the um, kind of the soft part of the finger to play that note. Um, now, in this one, you have a B flat in the key signature, so that's the extended, extended first finger on the A string. And in the key signature, you don't have the extension on the other strings. However, they do add it in as accidental. So you have a lot of E flats on the D string. So if it's marked E flat, you play the extension. If it's not marked E flat in that measure, you don't play the extension. There's actually more E flats than E naturals. So just watch out for that. And remember that anytime you have a flat or a sharp or a natural as an accidental, it is in effect for the rest of the measure until you get to the next bar line. So if the next note is the same, they don't have to write that flat again. Um, you have on the A string, some A flats also marked in as accidentals, and then even on the C string, D flat. So whatever the first finger note is, if it's marked flat, it is the extended uh, first finger. And um, the other thing in here that might be a little bit challenging is the rhythm at 47. So let's count that out a little bit on the slow side. So um, go ahead and count with me. Uh, one, two, three, and four, three, and shouldn't be too challenging to play. And um, because this is kind of an, an aggressive sound, you have a lot of accents, you're going to stay in the lower half of the bow most of the time. Um, the one exception might be when um, at the end of measure 20, 21, going into the next few measures, it's marked legato. So you might want to play with a little bit more bow there. Okay, now this one starts out pretty quick. It is, um, in smart music, the tempo is 150 beats per minute, which is just slightly faster than it's marked in the music. And so um, it's acceptable to play it a little bit slower, but if you are practicing with smart music, you're gonna find that the sound quality is best when you go with the default tempo. So that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> Thank you. 
practicing this one, just make sure that you're really kind of working on listening and getting those uh, first, the extended first fingers nice and low. Make sure you're really listening to it. And then also the other notes. When you um, change your hand shape to do the extension, sometimes it can cause wonky things to happen with the other fingers as well. So just really tuning is the big consideration and then digging into the string and playing with a nice solid and aggressive sound. Good luck and happy practicing.